Hey, check this out. I already know why you're here, right? You done seen that thumbnail. You guys started, your mouth started wiring and you was like, this is fire. Look, today I'm just getting ready to show you just how easy it is to make the creamiest broccoli cheddar soup on the planet. Let's get it. Okay, so look, you can see all of the ingredients that we have, right? Don't forget, if you've been following me and therefore if you're new, right? The full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, so look, first thing we wanna do is we wanna prep, you know, our ingredients, right? As you can see, I've already diced down the onions, right? So I got my onions. Now, this part is completely up to you, you guys. Listen, it depends. You can cut this down into little pieces like this. Right, this is your carrots, right? You can cut them down like that. You wanna put that in there? Or you can cut them down like this. Let me just take them, right? And we just cut them like this. It's really up to you. I'm gonna do it this way, so you guys can just take a look and see how you would like to do yours, right? So this is what I'll do. Now I got these here. I'm gonna go ahead and just peel probably this one right here. Once I peel it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down and cut it down like in a little, I guess like an inch and a quarter strips. Okay, so look, this is the part that make me green right here. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times we don't cook with fresh, you know, veggies, right? So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this off like this. I'm gonna show you, we just gonna cut this down. You know what I mean? I'm gonna cut this like this, right? Now we got that open. Look, you wanna have a sharp blade. You can actually do this with some kitchen shears too. We cut that down and check, guess, this, guess what folks? We got fresh broccoli. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep doing that. I'm gonna bring this around so you guys can see it. Let me just do it this way. Let me get a better bite for you on the camera. Okay, so look, now we get into the good part, right? We're gonna start cooking. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna start with a medium heat, right? When I say medium, I mean medium, not medium high, nothing like that, right? So look, you wanna go ahead and get yourself, you know, your butter. Listen, I already got it separated. We're gonna start off with one tablespoon. Okay, so look, now that our butter is melted right, we go ahead and add our onion. Okay, so look, I just moved around, make sure all of our onions got a little butter on them, you know what I mean? Then I wanna push them down, make sure we got some contact down there at the bottom where it's nice and warm. We're gonna cook these down and give these a little bit of a head start and go for about like two or three minutes. Okay, so once they start to be, you know, trying to become translucent like what you're seeing right here, you wanna go ahead and add the rest of your butter. Now look, this is what you wanna do here. Look, you just wanna get your flour, right? Once you got your flour, you wanna put it in. Now look, if you notice, I do everything in increments, right? Some people like to put it all in, then you gotta worry about lumps, if you ask me. For me, I do everything just a little bit at a time. You guys can just see, look how I'm doing that right there, right? So now that I got my, you know, my flour incorporated in there, I want it to be all buttery, you know, pick up some of that onion flavor and all of that. Then we want to cook down some of that, uh, that flour taste, right? So after we do that, then we go ahead and start adding our broth or our stock, right? Look, this is the flavor. Now check it out. It's going to be super thick. Just keep it going. You know what I mean? But no worries. Just a little bit at a time. Keep going. And notice you don't see any, you know, any lumps. So just keep going. It's really all in your elbow and your wrist. You know what I mean? So listen, really just having a uh, a whisk just really helps out, right? Now, look, now we got the heavy cream. Now I want you guys to pay attention and look at the thickness. You know what, you can just see it and it'll thicken up right in front of your eyes. With that heavy cream and all of them flavors that we, flavors that we've been building up, that works like that, right? Now, look at this right here. This the money shot right here when you start adding that broccoli. Look, we wanna cook that down. Now, it's up to you guys. Now for me, I like to have my broccoli a little bit on the soft side. You know what I mean? So I put it in like this, you know what I mean? And then we gonna cook it. And remember, the longer we cook it, and the longer it gets a chance to, you know, like simmer, that, you know, your your, your soup, it starts to like, you know, thicken up, right? So, and oh, you know what, here's a pro tip. If it gets too thick for you, folks, all you gotta do is add some, you know, some stock or some broth back to it, you know what I mean, to get to your desired thickness, right? So you just add it, and it's up to you how much broccoli you wanna put in there, cause this can take a whole lot of broccoli. You know what I mean? This right here be more to my liking. Then after that, after I start that, then I come with the carrots. Now that's the process of us just cooking that and letting it cook down, you know, to get that to that desired softness, right? Here, we just add our seasoning. Now we build it, you know, look, it's just more flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor, right? So listen, it's just a combination. And this right here is killing it. And why is this better than any restaurant that you go to? Because look, we can tailor make it the way we want to. Now look at that money shot right there. You can just see, mm. Ooh, ooh, that's fire, ain't it, folks? 
Now, super easy to do. You know what I mean? Just follow this. We trust the process and we go from there. And again, just as a reminder, if it get too thick for you, all you got to do is add a little bit more broth or stock. Then we taste as we go, right? We taste, we find out, oh, it just needs a little bit more salt. Then you just hit it here. And this part right here, if you've been following me for a minute, everybody knows you can't put enough pepper in that right there. So just put it in there. I like to be able to see it. And listen, when you, you know, using that, that fresh broccoli, you see the way it like just spreads all over the top. Hey, that's fire. Now, check it out. These smaller, uh, these smaller uh, pieces of bread right here. Look, these are small bowls for like them kids. Look, real simple. Take out the middle. Hey, this cup right here is like self-explanatory, you know, but you want to make sure that whatever type of bread that you want to get, that the outside is like a hold the integrity. Because sometimes you put the soup in there, it get too soft and it'll just bleed over. Now. Look at this right here. Now, now, now for the grown-ups. This is how we get down. The grown-ups, this is what we do. Hey, this French bread right here, after you get this cut, when I open this up, take a look at this right here. Look at the look how dense that is. Oh man. Man, you soak that in that uh in your soup. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice, can't you? Now, look at that right there. Now it depends on how big of a bowl you want to make. You know what I mean? You want to take some of that out. You can do that. And then listen, if you really want to be flossy, you can add that back to the soup and that right there just do it for you folks. That warm up the soul, stick to your ribs and keep you right. Now look at that right there. If that ain't no money shot, I don't know what it is. And then I did say this is like broccoli cheddar, right? So look, this part right here is key. Look at the size that I shredded. Uh, you know why I shred it small? That's so it melts evenly. And then as always, I tell everybody, shred your own cheese. You know what I mean? It just works out better. No wax, none of that stuff that they put in there to keep it from, uh, you know, sticking. You know what I mean? You're not adding that to your, you know, your soup. And it just melts much, much better. Then, as always, like I said earlier, you just put in a little bit at a time. You let that dissolve and you just keep adding to it. You know, to whatever, you know, your flavor profile that you want. But look at that. Look, man, nice, cheesy. You can look at the color of that. Man, you can put this in a... Uh, Man, you could put this in like a, a nice big bucket, put your, put a label on it, put it in the store, and sell it. Talk to me, folks. Tell me what you think. Mm. Now, that right there is fire. Now, you know what? Now it's time to make that grown-up bowl. Now, don't forget, remember earlier when I was taking out some of the breading in the inside, right? The more you take out, the bigger your bowl is going to be. So, my suggestion is to keep it the way I did. Just however you cut it, just let it come down. You know why? Because when you hit it with your spoon, it starts to absorb some of the uh, soup. Then you can, like, just scrape it, and there's your bread right there. Now for the garnish, right? I just put a couple of slivers of carrot. You know what I mean? Some fresh cracked black pepper. Right here, you see me just adding some... Uh, some cheese to it. Look, I done pulled up a little bit of that broccoli. And guess what, folks? We got a, a warm you up this time of the year meal, right? Super easy, way over the top, better than most of the restaurants. Why? Because we made it, right? Look at that right there. If that don't say broccoli cheddar soup, I don't know what does. Guess what? Cheers, folks. Mm, look at that. That right there is fire. If you don't think that I got the best job in the world, you know what I mean? I get to create you know, taste and just be super happy. And remember that bread? Look at that right there, folks. Don't discard it. That's that's what we dipping. You saw it. Peace. Mm -hmm.